Yellow. Oh, I should probably unlock my car. Yellow. It's, uh, it's your boy Austin from AT Cars. Back with a video, first one in a while. So, I have some news today. First off, before we start anything of this video, could you see the title of it, you know? You know what we're gonna be doing today. Um, so before we start, the reason why we haven't been uploading recently is because all of my audio files from my camera get corrupted. Like they aren't, like the audio is there on the computer, but I put it in the editing software and it's gone. Uh, if you know anything about that, put it in the comment section below. But that's why I've been using this. This is my lavalier mic setup. So, you know, starting to use this more. Um, this is a pretty simple video. Uh, but yeah, and then, so my camera, we recorded the entire video. That's why these, these are black. Um, we, we peel coated them. We peel coated that and that. So we made it black on the front. It looked nice. I'm getting new headlights soon. Probably the next thing I'm going to do because I lost this and all of this got chipped up through the hail. Uh, it's a pretty decent amount of damage. That's a lot of damage. Um, here. And I lost that on a gravel road. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be doing like actual spray paint. I want to look, see what it looked like black. It is peel coat, so I mean, it's easy as grab and pull. So I'm gonna, when I get new headlights, it comes with black trim, but I'm gonna be doing those black and those black. So yeah. And then all of the audio files from Trenton's camera, uh, they aren't like, my computer doesn't even recognize that his computer, that his camera's being plugged. It's kind of stupid. Um, that's why there is any move. We've recorded like maybe three to four videos that were pretty long, like off-roading. Uh, that was on Trent's camera. The painting and the testing of his um, gears and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we're, we're having some troubles there, but this video, if we do it with this setup, should be fine. Because you can see through the camera and you can hear through this mic. Without a further ado, let's go from the intercooler diverter in here. What the hell? All right. Two, oh, one second. <sighs> so, as you can see this, this is just a stock uh, Mini Cooper S air diverter that goes on top of the intercooler. Um, I just painted it blue because I like blue. So <laughs> yeah, so that's really, this is it. So as you know, when your air goes into the hood scoop here, it goes down and it goes into the intercooler, right? That's how you get your airs through the hood scoop in this car. But the thing is with this diverter, because it goes through the hood scoop, I mean, the hood scoops here. So most of the air goes in here, but there is air that goes back under and down and through the back by the headers and goes, it goes across the engine bay. So as you can tell, this is clearly the stock one. Now with the new one, the Alta performance one to be precise, as you can tell, it has these rubber gaskets. And these gaskets, when they get up to the hood scoop, they basically go right on. So all of the air goes through these vents. Um, really, there isn't too much performance-wise that you're really going to be getting out of this besides more air to the intercooler, which is better when you start upgrading other stuff to the car. So, I mean, this is, this is more for down the road. Right now, I'm kind of getting it because it looks really cool and it's pretty cheap for the first kind of performance thing we can do to this car. So this isn't actually on the website anymore. I don't know why, but they, it just one day it was just gone. I was gonna buy it off of there because it was cheaper, but then I had to cut over to Amazon. Today, we're going from this blue to this. Now, I'm gonna go get tools. You're going to need a TX30, a Torx 30 size for these screws. Ah. It's funny because the camera's still recording, but uh, you don't see me. It always seems like the bit that you need is just never there. 30. Dude, it's 30. Oh, and it fits. Ha <laughs> ha. Now that we have all the screws out, it's as easy as one, two, pop it out. Uh, as you can tell, this intercooler has seen better days. Probably gonna get a new top mount intercooler one of these days, probably after the rest of the performance. I mean, it works. What, what the hell am I gonna do? So, have that out. Boom, I mean, really it's as easy as that. So again, long bolts go in the back, short bolts 
go into the front. This is basically if you own a first or second generation Mini Cooper and you want to do the equivalent of stage one upgrades to your car, uh, Alta Performance, which I'll link in the description, has everything for you. Uh, from this state, from year one or gen one of the Mini Cooper, they have pulleys, they have uh, diverters, they have intakes, ignition stuff, um, the crankshaft pulley, I guess that goes with pulleys. Uh, exhaust and everything suspension wise from sway bars to the actual coil overs coils and shocks they have everything uh if you just want to do a nice solid stage one build aka what i'm doing and you want to get your car up to a moderately high amount of horsepower that looks really good boom alta performance is the way to go so as you can really see this was probably the easiest thing you can ever install on this car from switching out from stock to aftermarket um but it does make a pretty minute difference but i mean if you just look at the engine bay i mean it's just boom that looks cool so yeah look at that look at the beautiful headlight so that ladies and gentlemen as you go from this crappily painted blue stock diverter to a alta performance diverter so now I'm going to talk to you about things with this channel because that's what a good YouTuber does. I'm just going to lean on the car because <laughs> I'm cool. I talked about this in the painting video where we painted all the stuff on my car, um, but clearly you guys didn't see that because it didn't go into fruition and it didn't work. So it's kind of sad, but so basically what we did, we painted this black, those black and that with peel coat so it's coming off. Uh, it's just peel coat in general. It's not going to last very long. On the inside, we painted everything that we painted originally white uh, to a cool metallic gray, kind of similar to this, just a little bit darker. It's from a Chrysler. It's called uh, Gray Metallic Met, I think. M-E-T. But yeah, so that was that's basically all you really missed. You didn't really miss too much. Uh, the off-roading video is really cool. If I can get it and edit it and publish it, I will, you will see that in the future, but just to let you know, this is the most recent video I am making. Uh, I want to put more into this channel if I can, you know, get the funds to do such a thing. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I also talked out in the video, because you know how I originally said in, uh, hey, we need your help video or whatever, how I said, I really want to get into drifting and all that, but then I started to come to the conclusion, like I should probably wait till after high school to do it. Um, I thought about it more and when we went to the Into Thin Air Auto Fest back in May, that was, that was pretty, I'm going to call it life changing in a way. Cause we met so many cool people. Uh, we rode in the cars, we did, did all that cool stuff to, to meet the people and to meet the community and to actually get in the car and watch it and be there. It made me want to get a car more than ever. So I might get one. But if I do get one, that also means that this project's going to stop basically where it's at. This diverter will be the last thing we do in it for a while, unless we get the funds to do any other things. Uh, probably the headlights would probably be the last thing we get the car, and so on and so forth. I do want to get a car. I'm deciding between two cars that are pretty cheap and that are, have good. One of them has really good aftermarket support for drifting like that. Uh, I will say this: it's not a 240. I, I'm, I'm stereotypical, but I'm not that stereotypical. And second off, top, can you go back inside and put some shoes on? And then the other car, I would have to do a whole bunch of practice fabrication, which I want to do in the future. I want to do that as a job is to do uh, roll cage chassis, uh, uh, do a, a lot of really good automotive welding and stuff like that. So I do need practice in it. So that would be a good project, but I love the other car so much. So that's all I'm going to really tell you about that is that it may happen. Uh, if, if it does happen, it won't be for a little while. Can't really find here anything here in Colorado besides at junkyards. And junkyards is a little bit too much for me because that means I'd probably have to get a new engine. Uh, I'd have to do a lot of work to the car, which I mean, I mean I'd fine with, but it would take longer for the project to get done. And I want the project to be done if I were to do it by the probably mid area of next summer. So if I do get it, that's, that's the goals. Um, speaking of leaving and stuff like that, so today is July 13th. Happy 4th of July, by the way. If, if, if you guys enjoyed it and you're from America, 
Okay, so um, I'm going to be leaving for Canada uh, to go visit some family up there for two weeks on the 19th to the, uh, yeah, from the 19th to the 2nd of August. So it's going to be a two week venture. I'm not going to record any of it. If you are from Canada, I'm going to the Vancouver Island area um, and I'm, I'm doing stuff with a new show called the Better Together series that my aunt's making and she, she wants me to voice act for it, which I thought was really cool. Anyways, it's a kid's, kid's show that's actually going to be pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm leaving for Canada as of the 19th and I'm coming back the 2nd. So if Trenton posts any videos, uh, he doesn't really know how to edit too well. No, no offense to him or anything like that. He just needs more practice with it. Um, if he does publish a video, good on you. And uh, yeah, so this has been Austin from AT Cars. Uh, this video was very simple. It was as simple as taking four screws out, putting four screws, those four screws back in and having an aftermarket basically. So now the hood scoop gets all the air or all the air from the hood scoop goes into the intercooler is basically all that I did today. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. If you like us as a channel, look at our other stuff, uh, subscribe and hit that bell next to us so you can always see when we post anything, uh, which is pretty terrible schedule right now because we don't really have too much to record on because we do not have the funds to like be constantly buying parts or to be buying cars or to be going everywhere like that. So yeah, in the next upcoming videos, um, hopefully we get this, this car a little bit more pretty on the front and all that. And I can't wait to get a paint job for this car. I'm, I'm gonna say that now. I, I'm going to be getting a paint job with this, whether I have a drift car or not. Uh, yeah, so I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.